What's up guys, it's your boy Cyber Reaction back here with another video. Today we have a video about can a pumpkin protect an iPhone 7 from a 100 foot drop test. Thank y'all for all the love and support. Make sure y'all go down below and go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you follow me on my social media posted to the left or right of me. So guys, let's go ahead and hop into this video because I've been talking too much. Let's get it. What's up and welcome to another episode. We are here in Arkansas with Chuck from Zombie Go Boom and Sophie. And we are going to go get a pumpkin. We're on a mission. Yeah. It's Halloween. It, they should have <laughs> them. We already stopped at one store and they were sold out though. So <laughs> hopefully they have them here. So we're going to be putting an iPhone 7 inside of a pumpkin and then dropping it from hopefully 100 feet now. I think it's going to be a little less. So I think I'm actually going to chuck this one up a little bit to get that extra however many feet we need to get. Yep, let's see if it survives, right? Yep. We're gonna do with that pumpkin. It's gonna be freaking epic. Let's get started. We found them. How many should we get? I don't know. At least a couple in case we mess it up. Yeah, <laughs> they're what, 389? These so. are pretty big pumpkins. I know, they're perfect. They are pretty big. Oh yeah, some candy corn. This is gonna go inside the pumpkin right here. Let's do this. Here's the iPhone 7. This iPhone survived <coughs> and dropping down this big pumpkin. Wow, he almost spoiled it. That is crazy, guys. Being in a pumpkin as well. You ready to do this? Yeah. All right, let's do it. <laughs> These guys are so weird. <laughs> I'm totally not ready to do this. <laughs> let's do it. Boom. Whoa, check out the inside of that pumpkin. Yeah. Good That's luck awesome. eating that. <laughs> Let's make sure they're real candy cones first. Hold on a second. You want to you want to verify? I gotta verify this. Yeah. Real poison. <laughs> real candy corn. Oh, those are real. Okay. Heck yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and put the <laughs> iPhone 7 inside. You wanna like do a light carving of a face on there? Yeah. I'm just okay. uh. Here, I'm gonna let you put it on the ground. <laughs> you, uh, Just put go. your hand right here. <laughs> I wouldn't go all the way through it, Chuck. I'm being you rushed. A channel around this right now? You, you can't, you can't <laughs> rush art, and since I'm being rushed, this is what you guys get. <laughs> all right. So is that the mouth now? This is the it nose. Is how come it? How come the nose is bigger than the eyes? Because <laughs> this <laughs> this guy has a big nose. Uh, <laughs> we'll just do a square, huh? Oh, I feel the phone you in just there. Hit the phone. <laughs> I did hit the phone. All right, we got a face, and the phone will come out of it. So is this Charles? Yeah. The nose and everything, it's just the identical. <laughs> I can't make my eyes more triangular, though. <laughs> <laughs> <Your nose. laughs> will the Halloween special protect this iPhone 7? Post your opinion in the top right. Well, let's go ahead and drop this bad boy. In three, two, one. Boom! Okay, the phone is on. I don't know right if the now. phone I'm fell out. I'm not sure if it's functional though. Let's go find out. It's playing. You can see his face. I know. The, <laughs> the smile is coming down. No, I'm about to die. He doesn't know. He's not the fall that goes. Kaboom! The candy. You can see the dust yeah. cloud flaring up there. Candy corn coming out. Candy corn coming out like crazy. I love the dust explosion. Candy corns everywhere. All right, let's go find out if that iPhone survived. It probably did. It's the light I don't know on. if it did though. I'm afraid. Is it? Is it shattered? It's super sticky. Oh yeah, yeah. Pumpkin juice. Is it shattered or damaged? I'm trying to see. Is there plastic over it? Or is it just? No, it, it, there's no plastic over it, there's nothing <coughs> except for the uh, the pumpkin juice and stuff. It's super sticky. You might have to wash this sucker off. Look, there's a, a whole bunch of the candy corn got jammed in the vibrate wow. sphere. But, I mean, I think, I'm pretty sure that if we just wash this sucker off, it'll it's be good. as good as new. It's good yeah. to go. This iPhone survived another drop. We're not going to say what. But, but it's a diehard of iPhones. It's a Bruce Willis the, of iPhones. The Bruce Willis of iPhones. <laughs> yeah. Take a look at this pumpkin. The, the top and the bottom basically busted out. Candy still good? Mm, still good candy. So there you have it. A pumpkin filled with candy corn can protect That was pretty cool, guys. And we've got a zombie head that we're going to be testing. 
and that's coming up soon. So be looking for that and go check out Zombie Go Boom. They test out the zombie heads. You want to tell us a little bit about those? Yeah, these. Uh, this is a Tim head. We also make a different one. It looks a little bit different, more rotted, called an Ivan head. And it's basically five layers of realism. There's a anatomically correct cranial cavity and a skull that is also anatomically correct. And there's also a flesh layer, a skin layer. And basically, this is the closest synthetic analog head to a zombie there is. Bar none. Anyway, go check out their channel if you want to see what can kill a zombie and what can kill. <laughs> Thanks so much for uh, letting me come up and organizing this event. We're here at the Southern Gothic Con. That's right. So okay, guys. Y'all see my thoughts and action. I couldn't too much react off of this, but this was a really cool experiment. 100 feet drop. If y'all want to go check out the original video, link will be down in the description, guys. Thank y'all for sticking around to the, end, to the end if you did. Thank y'all for all the love and support. Thank you for 10 subscribers. Peace out, homies, and stay up to